everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so in my previous videos i had some timu haul videos and in those videos i shared a lot of products that i picked out and of course in that one video i couldn't use everything so i told you all that i was going to be doing separate videos trying the products that i picked out so in today's video, I am actually going to be trying some of the products. I have these ombre nail tips, and then we also have some solid glue gel. So these nail tips, they are a nude and white ombre. They are both the same nail tips, but one of them are matte and one of them are shiny. So I feel like the matte ones are more for if you want to do designs on them or something like that. And then the glossy ones are just if you want to leave them as is because in my opinion, I feel like the glossy ones, they already have that top coat on them. So it is all just a personal preference which one of these you would prefer. I did end up using the matte ones in today's video just because I feel that obviously you can't buff over the surface of these or you will remove the ombre design. So in my opinion, before applying my top coat, I thought the matte ones would hold the top coat better. So that was my reasoning for that. But these nail tips are gorgeous. I love the look of the ombre, the nude, the white. And then I also really love the shape and the length of these nail tips. They are quite long, but I love that so much. I think these nail tips are gorgeous. And one thing I will say, the quality of these nail tips are really nice. But something to definitely keep in mind is the ombre effect on these nail tips will come off. The whole nail tip is nude, but the white ombre at the tip, it is not like all over or the material these are made out of. The white isn't the material, if that makes sense. So if you file over top of the white on these nail tips, the ombre will definitely come off. And the next thing I will also be using is this solid nail glue gel or this soft nail tips gel. It isn't really a solid glue gel. I mean, it is, but it's not a non-stick glue gel, so keep that in mind. I did really like this one. It is the brand Nail Pop, and I touched it a little, and it is not non-stick, so again, keep that in mind. But the quality of this was really nice, and applying the nail tips with this product made it super easy. Um, I felt like it was a super good consistency and made applying the nail tips very easy to do and I feel like it is something that is be very beginner friendly. So off camera I did apply my peel off base coat. This is going to be a super quick video. I just wanted to try out these nail tips. This video is quite shorter than most of my other videos just because the nail tips were basically already pre-designed for me. But I really like these nail tips and I also like how they were from Timu but they were still really good quality. Right here I am just sizing them out. I will say the sizing was a little bit funky for me. Um, not that it was different than any other nail tips. I just noticed that some of the nail tips didn't fit me um, as nicely as I wanted them to. So you can see me going in here with a hand file and I'm just gently going around and filing the nail tip around the cuticle area just so that it will fit my, my like nail plate perfectly. I found with sizing these out, I wasn't my normal size in these. So I had to go up a size and then that led me to needing to file a few of the nails just so that it would fit me perfectly and I wasn't having any extra nail hang over onto my skin. So once I was finished with that super quick and easy process, I'm now just going to be applying the nail tips. Again, the nail tip quality is really nice. I don't love how the ombre isn't like the entire nail. I still don't know the proper way to explain that, but I don't like how the white surface, you can't file over top of these nails. That's something that bugs me a little bit. But I mean, I feel like for the price point on Timu, that's something you can expect. And pushing that aside, no matter what, I still felt like the nails looked amazing. For the glue gel, um, like I was saying, it was a really good quality product. I just squeezed a little bit into the nail tip 
place the nail tip down, did my flash cure, and just look at how quick this is going. I do not have this sped up whatsoever. I just cut out the curing time, and you can see that really it was super quick to do. For my curing, I did about a 30 second flash cure, and then once they were all applied, I did a full 60 second cure just to be sure everything was fully cured. And another thing, these nail tips, I didn't have any issues with curing. Even though they are colored, you can see through them. I mean, right now, you can even see through them. You can see my natural nail. You can see the glue gel. So these nail tips are intended to be applied with gel. They are not like press-ons to be applied with nail glue. Now, of course, you can still do that, but these nail tips, I didn't have any issues with curing, and I can say that for sure because when I did remove them, I was able to see if everything cured fully and everything was fully cured. So for my filing, it was very minimal. Again, I wasn't able to go over tops of the nails, so I just took a hand file to crisp up the nail shape, and then I'm going in with my top coat. I applied that to all of the nails and did a 30 second cure. I didn't really want to do any nail art today. I decided to add on some charms. So I'm going to be using some rhinestones, the pink flower charms, and then also this rhinestone glue gel. This is purchased from Timu as well. So on all of the nails, I'm just going to be adding on some rhinestone gel where I want to place some rhinestones or the flower charms. And then I use a wooden stick just to almost like spread out the rhinestone gel so it isn't all in one blob. And then I use a wax pencil to pick up my charms and rhinestones and place them where I want them. I will then, after I finish a nail, placing the rhinestones and charms, I'll do a cure of 30 seconds and then I will repeat the process to the other nails and then once I have the rhinestones and charms all flash cured on, I will do a full 60 second cure just to be sure everything is fully cured into place. I also have these butterfly charms from Timu and I am going to be using one of these butterflies on the middle finger in the center of the nail just to give it a little bit more. I also just thought it would look really cute with the nail set, almost like an introduction to spring nails and I really loved the outcome of these nails because this was a larger charm and I wanted to apply some smaller flowers and rhinestones to this nail. I did just use my little flashlight curing lamp. I flash cured that and then I went in with with the rhinestone gel, placed my other rhinestones and charms, and then I went into the lamp for 30 seconds, and then I'm just gonna be repeating the same process to all of the other nails, placing the rhinestone gel where I want it to be, and placing in my charms and rhinestones. The 
this really was a super quick and easy nail set because I like applying my top coat before my charms. My top coat's already applied, so I went in with my cuticle oil. I applied that to my cuticles to nourish them, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And here is the finished look of these nails. I think they turned out so gorgeous. I also love just really how easy they were because these nails were pre-designed. They had that nude and white ombre on them. It was so quick. Also, that solid glue gel. I will be trying to link these products down below in the description box. It can be a little difficult refinding products on Timu just because they have so many products on there. They also sometimes discontinue products, so it is a little challenging for me at times, but I will try my best to find the items that I used in today's video, and I will be linking them down below in the description box. Timu has a lot of different nail supplies. You can check out my other Timu haul videos. I will have a few of those linked up in the card so you can watch them. But I really love getting nail supplies from Timu. Almost everything thing that I used for this nail set was from Timu. So if you are tired of spending salon um, prices, definitely recommend trying to do your own nails at home. You could even keep this set super simple just by applying the ombre nails and a top coat. Or you could even go in with stickers, nail art, or charms like how I did. But again, I will be trying my best to link these products down below in the description box. I know this video was very short compared to my other videos, but really it was just an easy nail set for me to do. I really hope you guys all did enjoy, but as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.